I got my pilot's license about 22 years ago, and during that time, I've been lucky enough to fly some fairly iconic aeroplanes. But never have I flown anything like the old Avro, which is now approaching 100 years old. It promises to be challenging. The prototype of the Avro first flew in 1913, just 12 years after the first powered flight. This particular model, however, was built in 1918. Dodge Bailey is a former RAF pilot and test pilot who has a vast experience of flying older aeroplanes like this. Well, this is the Avro 504K. Yeah. Um, it started its life as a frontline aeroplane um, and then subsequently moved into training. The structure is essentially wire brace wooden frames um, covered with Irish linen. Contact. Contact. Now it's time for me to try out this magnificent aeroplane without most of the dangers of a hundred years ago. Unlike Dodge, the men who originally flew these planes often didn't have extensive training at all. Often they were granted their wings after just a matter of hours. Aeronautical engineering was in its infancy, and the handling of an aeroplane like this was incredibly difficult and varied from one plane to the next. The men were exposed to the elements, and often the guns they had on board tended to jam, leaving them open to enemy fire with no means of defense. It was, in short, incredibly dangerous. Wow! How amazing is that? Uh, well, it was as I thought challenging. How they just went straight into this with, with minimal training and then w went fighting, I mean, it's madness. It's very easy to see why the majority of fatalities occurred during training and that these pilots' roles might have been more glamorous, but it was far more dangerous in the skies above the trenches than actually being in the trenches where nine out of ten of them survived. Thank you.